Oh my god, hello! I know, I haven't done a video in, like, eternity. So many technical, te can't talk, <laughs> technical difficulties over, what has it been, like, over a year? Oh, seriously, okay, so everybody's like, orange light, and like, I know, the lighting in this house sucks, but I got a sun lamp, hello, it's on that works. Um, cat knocks digital camera off table, dolly eats webcam and then like this weird sound problem with Windows Movie Maker and then not being able to figure out uh, light works at all. That's some complicated shit, yo. So, um, here I am using my new digital camera. I figured out how to turn the mute off so it will record sound. Yes and the sun lamp, and so I'm not orange anymore, and I have sound, and yes. So, on topic. Um, I went shopping in an actual store for the first time in a very, very long time, and I actually bought things in said actual store. So, this whole video is actually going to lead to other videos, those bargain basement reviews that you guys love so much. So, uh, let's get started on what I bought today. So, big shocker, it's hard candy. And I have been a huge advocate for hard candy in the past. It works really well for me. I really like it. Um, and it, it goes to prove that you can get quality makeup for a decent price. Now, what's something I've really wanted is some sort of cream blush, and I've wanted some forever, and I had my eye on some con make, and, like, seriously, so freaking expensive. I'm like, can I really, like, justify spending 10 to $12 on a little tiny pot of blush that's going to last me in, like, two weeks? Uh, no. No, I can't justify that because I'm dirt fucking poor. Okay, so, um, found these cheeky tints. And when I saw these, I was like, okay, I have to have these. And I have to try these. And I got your doll and Surfer Babe. And we're going to test those out. And when I test them out, I'm going to do a review with swatches. Of course. Because that's what I do. And then I got this uh, correcting concealer. Um, I have the world's worst dark circles, y'all. They are really purple and dark and, like, my eyes are sunken back into my head. It's it's horrible. It's a mess. I wear probably about 20 pounds of concealer under my eyes and it doesn't, doesn't do much. It's still pretty noticeable. Um, so, correcting concealer and hopefully I can, um, cover up those spots and maybe even those hormonal blemishes I get. I hate those, by the way. My face was so clear when I was a teenager. I hit my 20s and all of a sudden I get acne every month around my period. What the fuck? Okay, moving on. Um, this lip gloss. Okay, so I've used Plumping Serum lip gloss for them for years. I am almost out of the color I've been using. This isn't exactly the same. In fact, I couldn't find the same color. Everything's different. The design on the cap. Um, but I couldn't, and again, couldn't find that color. So I'm going to try a crush on you. Um, and it seems like a pretty color. So we're going to try that out. Um, and then back on the t topic of hormonal acne. <laughs> I got some, um, clean and clear, um, I usually use Clarisol, but this, I've used this in the past, this spot advantage, and let me tell you, invest the six dollars and some odd cents that it's going to cost you, because this stuff is a miracle, really. And then, um, some acne control moisturizer, because you need to moisturize your face, but you don't need to oil your face when it's already oily, because that's not good. <laughs> So, that pretty much concludes the end of my haul. Yeah, it's not a lot, but again, I am dirt poor, so I can't really buy a lot. Um, so, I'm going to get back into the swing of things. So, yeah, when I, when I, um, 
when I try out those blushes and that concealer, I will do bargain basement reviews on them for you guys. And for myself, because I like doing them too. <laughs> so, I'm going to stop dreaming around and let you get on with your day. So, bye!